Welcome to Story Writing Using Pictures, Part 2. In Picture 1, if we look closely and ask the question, when did it happen? We can see that it's in the early morning before school. So what will we write? It is a quiet morning. All of a sudden, Jane's mom wakes her up. But why does she wake her up? Time for school, she shouts. She looks at her clock and gets such a fright. Why does Jane get a fright? It is 7.30. So if it is 7.30, what does that mean? Jane is late for school. How can I add to this sentence? I can say, Jane is late for school and is going to miss the school bus. In picture two, what does she do? She quickly jumps out of her warm bed and puts on her new school uniform. Do you see how I have used warm bed and new school uniform? I've even used quickly jumps out. I use these just to add more description. What happens next? Who brings her something? Jane's mom brings her some yummy breakfast, but is worried there is no time to eat it. If you look closely again, I have tried to use more adjectives. What kind of breakfast was it? It was a yummy breakfast. In picture three, what is Jane doing? Where is she going? And what else can you see in the picture? Jane quickly runs to catch the bus, but forgets her mathematics homework on her desk and does not take it. Now, in picture four, you have to choose what happens. So, if I decide for myself, I think I will write... She is very lucky that the bus is also late, so she climbs on and goes to school. Now, what happens next when she gets to school? She is sad because she left her homework at home. So what will happen next? When she gets to school, her friends tell her that the mathematics teacher is sick. Hooray! No homework.